heat engine and its efficiency key concepts so consider a high temperature source let the temperature is t1 a high temperature source is a constant source which is having sufficient amount of energy when it energy is taken the amount of some amount of heat energy is taken the temperature of the high temperature source will remain same so q1 amount of energy is taken from the source and it is given to a heat engine a heat engine is a device which receives heat energy from some source and it produces a work let the work produced is w so after producing some amount of work the heat engine will reject some amount of heat let the rejected amount of heat is q2 and it is rejecting to a low temperature sink and the temperature of sink is t2 the terms which are coming here are t1 is the temperature of the source t2 is the temperature of the sink Tem t1 is the highest temperature and t2 is the lowest temperature q1 is the heat flow from source to heat engine the amount of heat that flows from high temperature source to the heat engine and q2 is the heat rejected from the heat engine to sink that is amount of heat rejected from heat engine to the lowest temperature t2 that is q2 w is the net work output from the heat engine from energy balance we can write that the total energy supplied minus the total energy rejected is equal to work output that is total energy supplied is q1 and total energy rejected is q2 so q1 minus q2 is work output w so the efficiency of the heat engine is defined as work output divided by energy supplied we know the work output is w and energy supplied is q1 that is eta efficiency is denoted by the greek symbol eta eta is equal to w by q1 we know that w is equal to q1 minus q2 so we can write q1 minus q2 by q1 that is 1 minus q2 by q1 this is the equation for efficiency of a heat engine 1 minus heat rejected divided by heat supplied the for higher efficiency q2 by q1 should be minimum higher efficiency means the efficiency should be closer to 1 or 100 percentage for the efficient to be higher 1 minus q2 by q1 that's q2 by q1 should be very small that is heat rejected divided by heat supplied should be very small that is minimum heat rejection that is q2 should be minimum for a given heat supply q1 the above efficiency formula is applicable for all heat engines that is whatever the type of heat engine you can use this formula efficiency is equal to 1 minus q2 by q1 for f any heat engines the efficiency of the heat engine normally less than 60 percentage it should not be above 60 percentage except theoretical engines so for carnot reversible heat engine these are special type that is theoretical heat engines which are reversible nature and it's called carnot heat engine for those kinds of heat engine efficiency equation eta is 1 minus q2 by q1 we can also write it in terms of temperature 1 minus t2 by t1 where t2 is the lowest temperature divided by t1 is the highest temperature that is 1 minus temperature of the sink divided by temperature of the source you should remember that the for all the heat engine you can use the equation 1 minus q2 by q1 but you can use the equation 1 minus t2 by t1 for carnot heat engine only reversible carnot heat engine only so in numerical problem both these quantities will be given that is heat reject heat supply and temperature of the source and sink will be given so if it is a normal heat engine if it is not mentioned that it is a car carnot heat engine you should use 1 minus q2 by q1 equation for a carnot engine whether you use 1 minus q2 by q1 or 1 minus t2 by t1 both will give the same efficiency but in case of a normal heat engine you will get the efficiency with 1 minus q2 by q1 okay if it is an objective type question there will be 
two option when one you are using when one minus q2 by q1 and when you are using one minus t2 by t1 so you should remember this for normal heat engine you have to use one minus q2 by q1 and for car not reversible heat engine you can use either one minus q2 by q1 or one minus t2 by t1 both will give the same result so efficiency is one minus heat rejected divided by heat supply and uh, for Carnot engine, it is 1 minus temperature of sink divided by temperature of source. So, what is meant by a heat engine? What are the practical examples? All the internal combustion engines, gas turbines, steam turbines, all are examples for a heat engine. Heat engine is a device which receives some amount of heat from the source and it will produce some amount of work and it will reject some amount of heat to the lowest temperature. The lowest temperature will be normally the atmosphere. So, for example, consider a steam turbine. From the boiler, the high enthalpy, high energy steam is coming to the heat engine. That is Q1 is entering to the heat engine. The turbine blades will expand the steam and it will produce net to work output. That is mechanical work output. And after expansion of the steam, it will be rejected. That is the Q2. Some amount will of energy will be there with the after expansion with the steam so it is the q2 amount of steam amount of energy rejected with the steam so this is a heat engine and these are the concepts related with efficiency of heat engine i hope you all understand the concepts thank you for watching thank you